Kigali, the heartbeat of Rwanda, a country that is on the fast path to recovery following one of the worst atrocities in modern history. The city is abuzz with business and alive to the latest political happenings. Monday's parliamentary vote, the third since the 1994 genocide, no doubt marked a democratic milestone and set a new chapter, that of a country steadily shaking off the tug of victims of genocide and taking up space as one of the fastest growing economies. There was never a doubt about who was going to win and perhaps why. President Kagame has been, is, a good, is a good leader. Uh, he's a good leader. He has, he has bring many things. He has bring many things like schools, peace. It is Mamisha genocide. RPF stopped the genocide, united the country. It's brought many things like roads, cars for the poor, and education. Maybe when RPF gets tired, the others can take over. But so far, it's not tired, and we are happy. President Paul Kagame's Rwandan Patriotic Front that put an end to the genocide almost 20 years ago has been credited with the dramatic transformation of Rwanda. In 2012, the International Monetary Fund put Rwanda's economic growth at 7.7% and the World Bank has placed it at 52 out of 185 countries on its ease of doing business index. Recently, the president launched a more ambitious economic development plan aimed at pushing economic growth to 11.5% for each of the five years and reducing poverty by at least 15% from the current 40 to 30%. Still, while the country is roundly lauded for its growth and lack of corruption, some claim the democratic space has been reduced and that despite embracing multi-party politics, it remains effectively a one-party state. The opposition in Rwanda can best be described as subtle, if not government-friendly. President Paul Kagame has, however, been quick to dismiss talk of suppressing divergent political views. And many experts say, given its dark history, it may just take much more time before Rwandans claim a share of wider democratic space. Jane Keo, CCTV, Kigali, Rwanda.